Hello, bonjour, good talk. How are you today, guys? Welcome, welcome, welcome. And as I say, I know people are going to put in the comments going, your volume's too low at the beginning. Yes, I'm aware of that, guys. Thank you very much. But today, guys, I thought we'd look at Need for Speed Hot Pursuit Remastered. But I say, guys, this may be going on YouTube, it may not. So if it's not on the YouTube, it'll be available to be watched on the Twitch. But I say, guys, if you want to look at any of the links to any of the other content I do, they're all in the description down below the YouTube and the Twitch. And also, there's other links down there. So, if you want to look at, as I say, if you want to look at any other content like farming, train sim, bus sim, sea of thieves, anything like that, it's all down below. But yeah, guys, let's crack on, shall we? Let's crack on. Seacrest County has become the ultimate place to speed, a playground for the most exotic cars and drivers in the world. But this is not a lawless place. Constant competition has led to the creation of the world's fastest police force, Seacrest County Speed Enforcement. The SCPD spare no expense to redline it all the way and make you pay. Every day, new drivers still show up and attempt to tame Seacrest County and outrun the law. The pursuit for the ultimate drive starts here. Which side are you on? Okay, we're in a place. Yeah, so my driver details, lovely, lovely, lovely. So the SCPD and that one. Okay, we'll do chase 101. Welcome, Cadet. Into you have been accepted into the ranks of the SCPD, the world's fastest speed enforcement unit. You begin your career as a rank 1 cadet with limited access to the department. The pinnacle of the speed enforcement unit are the rank 20 ultimate enforcers with access to any vehicle or pursuit resource required. Your career with the SCPD will be measured on your performance in the field. All of your actions are monitored and recorded in the system as bounty. The more bounty you are awarded during an active mission, the faster you will progress through the comp ranks. Basic busting procedure is to bring the suspect to a halt or force the vehicle to stop with excessive damage. As an interceptor, you are authorized to use any available force to bring the suspect in. The objective is to bust the suspect in the shortest amount of time, minimizing impact on the population of Seacrest County. All interceptor response cars are fitted with an SVPD nitrous system. Use this system to give your vehicle a short burst of acceleration, enabling you to close the gap or impact the suspect with more force. If the suspect gets too far away, there will be a limited time to re-engage before the assignment is over. Stay close and stay sharp. Today you will be driving the Ford Crown Victoria. As you prove your value to the department, Command will make more exotic equipment available to you. Good luck. Interesting, cool. Excellent. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, so guys, this is the remastered version of Hop Shoe. I know Hop Shoe is like an old game and it's been out for years, but this is a remastered version. Heading south on three points road. Confirmed, suspect is exceeding all posted limits, requesting assistance. Interceptor assistance is command approved and en route to your location. Affirmative command, intercept unit is on scene and in engagement. Affirmative command, intercept unit is on That's too loud. Right, put the sound effects down to 30. Okay, engine volume, too loud. So 
there anything to do with the engine? No, I've just been in gameplay, you pillar. Okay, that's better. Sorry guys, the engine volume was a bit too loud then. And that was just a hit from the back. Got ourselves for a Subaru Impreza WRX STI. That's the one we just used. This is the one we're going to use. Units, we have a high priority situation on Mission Beach. Uh -huh. Contact. No wrong day for the fucking hair. I did not see that truck come in. Sunset Drive. Sunset Drive. 
Another bloody truck. Another new car. Cool. We got a master our ranks. Interesting. And a police Ford Interceptor. Okay. Well, I've done a couple of those. I'm now going to go and do the orange ones. So doing a... Entry in the Roadsters Reborn race event is confirmed. In this showcase event, you will unleash the true potential of the Roadster as you compete against other drivers in a race along the Seacrest County coast. Use your driving skills to outmaneuver the opposition and take a medal. Your reputation is measured in wanted levels. Currently, you are not registering much activity and are classed by the SCPD as a level one speeder. The greatest drivers win the races and outrun the law with style and are classified as level 20, most wanted. Your daily activity is measured as bounty. The harder, faster, and more dangerously you drive, the more bounty you will earn. Win races, beat your rivals, and stay one step ahead of the cops to increase your wanted level and get access to new cars and entry into the toughest events. Your car is equipped with a race spec nitro system. Use this system to gain a rapid acceleration increase. Nitros will only charge if you drive dangerously. Drive in oncoming traffic lanes, near miss other vehicles, drift corners, and take shortcuts to gain the most nitros. This race has restricted entry requirements. You can choose any of the available cars to drive in the race. Some cars are locked at this time and will become available as you increase your wanted level. I say, I've only got the Porsche box to spider. <laughs> Porsche engineers have realized a long-held dream. The dream of a roadster that is more original, more sporty, and more liberated than ever. By taking an idea back to the basics, the Boxster Spider is based on a pure, lightweight design with no comfortable extras. 
Featuring a tuned version of the proven 3.4-liter flat-six Boxer engine, which sits just ahead of the rear axle, the Boxster Spider weighs only 1,275 kilograms. There is a noticeable kick in acceleration when compared to the other two models in the range, and the car is always alert and willing to change direction. No air conditioning, no radio, no cup holders, no door release levers. This is the lightest Porsche you can buy, and one that returns to the formula applied in creating the classic 1950s Porsche 550 Spyder. Now I feel happier, it's in purple. Right, let's go. But a ba. And this hand. Does it show what cards we've had? No, don't do that, you banana. Nitrous. Oh, not the bloody. One mile to the finish. Mark up. 
Why have we got this funny feeling that there's going to be peace at the finish? Oh no, I win. Oh yeah. Okay, new award, past the RX-8. The RX-8 was launched in 2003 and has sold over 160,000 units worldwide. So far, this car has won more than 50 global awards, including many Car of the Year awards in 2003 and 2004. With a refreshed look and an improved performance, the latest RX-8 is still as stylish and fresh as it was when first launched. The Mazda RX-8's most unique feature has to be its Renesis Rotary Engine Genesis engine which generates an incredible 232 bhp from a comparatively small, naturally aspirated 1.3 liters. Redlining at 9,000 rpm and with a very smooth power delivery, this light engine succeeds in creating an exciting driving experience. The five-spoke wheel design features a shape which can be traced to the triangular rotor shape of its engine. Rear hinge doors show innovation in allowing passengers to easily access the rear seats while retaining an overall sports car size and shape. Lovely. Sorry, just found that singing. Ha 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 ha. Boom boom. Just bear with me a moment, guys. Chicken nuggets. Let's go. Okay, we're in the RX-8 now. Oh, straight to a van. Suspect is driving aggressively. Haha, <laughs> we've got the cops. Hello, what? 
I'm with the vehicles now. These guys don't look like they want to stop. I got a chase here. Okay, now it looks like I just took a car and ran as well. Suspect is driving extremely dangerously. We've got to end this now. This is contact. That just put me from whatever I was in to just call. Heads up, I'm gonna disable this car. Officer, please proceed with caution. Suspect tried to run me off the road. Use all available force. One mile to the finish. Hi bloody wolf, how are you today? New car, Dodge Charger, SRT8, Sport Series. And also, a Mitsubishi Lancia Evo 10. So, how's you? I'm fine. And how come you're sore? Did you have your COVID jab or something? No, I do not want to go to my driver details, you pillar. Right. Not available for this event. So it looks like I've got the alarm to see evil. Different for a reason. Yeah, how come you're so bloody wolf? Yeah, 
Oh, gym last night. Fair enough. Well, I have to say, while you were at the gym, I was still asleep. I was just late, so... I... I could have gone better. Hey, I do go to sleep early, you know. Can't stay. I can't stay awake till like three, four o'clock in the morning. Hell no. Oi, sod. Oh, sugar. Oi. I'll read that in a moment as well. While trying to drive, I can't read big messages. There we go. Over the line. Well, to be fair, Bloody Wolf, I didn't get up till 12 o'clock this afternoon. Well, to be fair, Bloody Wolf, I didn't get up till 12 o'clock this afternoon. So I was, like, sleeping a lot. Okay, we've gone up to suspect. <laughs> As I say, Blue Wolf, as I sent you messages, I've been at college most of the week anyway. Wanted level. Oh, we've got a new car as well, though. <laughs> Chevrolet Camaro SS.
I was saying my first two cars were in purple, then I had that one in black. Right, so I've done one, two, no, hang on a minute, one, two, three, so I've done three orange ones, and I've done two blue ones. Right, it's time to do a blue one. And then we'll do an orange one. And we've got the Porsche 911. Top. Throughout its entire production run from 1975 to 1989, the Porsche 911 Turbo was the top of the range model from Porsche, making use of turbocharging technology, which Porsche had begun experimenting with in the early 1970s with the Porsche 917. The 911 Turbo was developed to be a direct competitor for the much more expensive and exclusive supercars of the era. Although the car was no longer required as a homologation model, due to changes in the homologation rules, it became the basis for the 934 and the 935 race cars. The car proved to be very fast, but also very demanding to drive. Its short wheelbase, engine position, and power delivery contributed to a tendency to oversteer that required a high level of skill to control. A distinctive flared rear spoiler, wider rear arches, and upgraded tires were added to help increase grip and make the car more stable. The rear spoiler was later raised even more to allow enough space for the newer air-to-air -air intercooler, which was added to increase power even further. Stopping performance was also improved by using brakes, similar to those found on the successful Porsche 917 race car. And that's some information on the 911, guys. I say bloody well, if you had any chance to look at me the YouTube videos like and uh, the Golf and Tropicana, Tropicar, whatever what it whatever it was, Tropico and the Elder Scrolls that I did over the weekends. Central to all units, offices require assistance on West Beach Freeway. This is a training exercise, but you will be evaluated as if this was a live situation. Okay, thank you. Okay, you have so much more IRL. Which IRL ones? I've got a lot of IRL videos. Sorry, mate. Okay, 
Okay, this is looking bad. Okay, I've got bronze. That could have gone way better. Near vehicle. Porsche 911 Turbo. Okay, well you know they're only short, so you can watch them as many times as you want, Bloody Wolf. Right, vanishing point. Oh, we got the Pagani Zonda Roadster. Oh, we got the Pagani Zonda Roadster. I'll say, Bloody Wolf, I watch a lot of my um, YouTube videos. <clears throat> well, my IRL ones, I watch them like constantly. Bear with me a moment guys, I will be moving momentarily. Bear with me a moment guys, I will be moving momentarily. Right, the Pagani and Zonda. Horatio Pagani and his team have once again created a piece of art able to speed over 350 kilometers per hour. Created in Pagani's Modernese studio, only five. What do you think to my IRL videos, then, Bloody Wolf? And I'm not meaning my voice either. Oh, Goonies. Galinas. What the hell Galinas is, I don't know. Okay, got bronze on that.
Okay, we've got a BMW Z4 S Drive 3.5 IS. And that's what it is. Okay, let's do a blue. As a member of the SC, have the full backing of the command center on every mission. For this next mission, command has approved the use of local roadblock units. Calling in the units will set up a roadblock ahead of you and the suspect on the road. Any collision with the roadblock will cause the suspect heavy damage and slow them down, giving you an opportunity to move in. I was going to say, I know there's nothing wrong with my voice, I know that. But I was thinking of the quality of the videos, that you're actually enjoying them. Okay, the Ford Police Interceptor Concept. The super high output of the EcoBoost twin turbocharged engine is what defines this sleeper sedan from Ford. Anyone who overlooks the style of this revolutionary, high quality American sedan will be blown away by its hidden performance. Creating more power than larger, naturally aspirated engines, the 3.5 liter V6 is twin turbocharged and able to generate peak power of 365 bhp while providing a maximum of 350 pounds per foot of torque across a broad range from 1,500 to 5,250 RPM. The purpose-built police interceptor will replace the iconic Crown Victoria as Ford's police car of choice from 2011 onward. The new police interceptor is fully equipped inside and out to support all the needs of a modern law enforcer. Yes. Central confirmed. Let the interceptor take over. Interceptor 1, this is Central. Roadblock units are approved for use. Move in. That's cool. I can use roadblocks now. And no, not the game, guys. Oh, Jugus. Where am I going? Roadblock is deployed directly ahead of you. Roadblock has been passed. The roadblock has been passed. They are still running. Roadblock patrol units on scene. Let me know where you want them. Have to do something quickly. You are contact. Suspect is headed along Sunset Drive. Suspect has sustained heavy damage. He can't keep going for much longer. This is Roadblock Patrol 1. We are on scene standing by. Over. Come on. 
come on, come on, come on. Get him, get him, get him. Oh yeah, a bit of noise. The suspects are now under arrest. Bring them in for processing. Just so you know, Bloody Wolf, I will be streaming tomorrow as well. But I don't know what I'll be streaming. Got a Porsche Cayman S. Okay, we did a Blue. Now time to do an orange. Orange. Breach of the peak. Your car has been installed with the latest anti-pursuit technology, the spike strip. Based on SCPD technology, the system releases a lethal spiked strip from the rear of your car. If another vehicle drives over the strip, they will be damaged and temporarily immobilized. Use the moment well and make your move. Your vehicle can only carry a limited number of strips and will take time to recharge after each use. So only fire when you are confirmed a hit. Your heads up display will let you know when the system is online. Let's say bloody well, I only stream between, I only stream f between like Oh, I either start at 12, 1 or 2, but you'll probably be with the kids anyway, so depending on what it is, <clears throat> it'll either be on the YouTube or it'll be on the Twitch. It'll be on either one of the two, depending on the game. An expression of joy. The BMW Z4 S Drive 35 IS is a modern reinterpretation of the classic Roadster. Following in the footsteps of the 1930s BMW 3151 and the 1950s BMW 507, adaptive M suspension helps deliver power and precision straight to the tarmac throughout the rev range. A light touch of the accelerator is all the twin turbocharged six cylinders need to provide an experience to match the freedom of roof down driving. Driving a roadster is an expression of style, not of extravagance. An elongated bonnet encourages your eye to trace the striking low shoulder line to its powerful rear. The hardest decision the driver has to make is whether the shortest route is the most enjoyable one. Righty, righty. I say bloody well, I'm not even sure if this is going to go on YouTube yet, I don't know. It depends. I say it depends when I upload it if I get a copyright claim or not.
Like the last Need for Speed stream I did, I got copyright claimed for him. He beat me right off. Get out of the way. Thank you. Closing on some drive. Oh. Suspect tried to run me off the road. Uh, I'm not trying to run you off the road, I'm right back here. Okay, I just wrecked a car. You haven't got me, mate. I say I do let people know if it goes on YouTube or not. It it it, it just depends on if I get a copyright claim or not. New car reward. An Audi TT RS. Hey, that was a, um, orange. Sorry, my brain just went blank then.
for a strictly limited number of discerning customers. 177 fuses advanced technology with stunning Aston Martin design to create what is possibly the world's most desirable automotive art form. Aston Martin's 177 exists at the intersection between a limited edition artwork and pure technological innovation. The 77 people who will become owners are making a major commitment. Their reward? A car that is the culmination of all the elements that define Aston Martin's modern era. V12 power, lightweight construction, modern material, craft skills, design excellence, and naturally, raw beauty. For Aston Martin, 177 is a unique opportunity to create a car as functional art, an object of beauty and contemplation that can also be interacted with, enjoyed by a select few on a strictly personal basis. An Aston Martin 177. is a high priority. You are required on scene immediately. Hey, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Temporary. Ouch. No medal. I'll fuck it up now. It's a boo 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 Okay, we'll retry that. Central to all units, officers require assistance on Lost Horse Road.
All units respond, this is an emergency situation. Try using a thing called brakes might actually help as well. I was not the middle what happened. Oh! I was not meant to happen either. Right, stop crashing. At least got bronze. Right, let's do an orange. <clears throat> I think guys will do an orange, we'll do a blue, and then we'll leave the stream there. The Porsche engineers knew exactly what their objective was. To make the new 911 GT2 RS the most powerful Porsche for the road. Objective achieved. The water-cooled six-cylinder bi-turbo Boxster engine with four-valve technology, variable turbine geometry, VTG, and Variocam Plus delivers its power through the rear axle. From its 3.6 liter capacity, it generates an enormous 620 horsepower at an engine speed of 6,500 RPM and 700 Newton meters between 2,250 and 5,500 RPM. Couple this with a weight reduction compared to the GT2 of 70 kilograms from the clever use of carbon, aluminum, polycarbonate, and a single mass flywheel, you have a class leading weight to power ratio of 2.21 kilograms per horsepower. Carbon elements have been used wherever possible, including the front lid, spoiler lip, and rear wing. Even the mud flaps are available in carbon as an option. These not only save weight, but their distinctive matte black finish allows the 911 GT2 RS to be easily recognized when compared to the 911 GT2. Thank you. Yes, yeah, so guys, we'll do this one. We'll do a uh, police one. I think I'll leave it there for this stream. Well, at least we've had a look at Need for Speed Hop Shoot Remastered. Porsche, Porsche, Porsche GT2 RS.
Okay, what am I meant to be doing here except drag? Reventon Reveal. Just 20 examples of the Reventon went on sale, with a 21st being built for display at Lamborghini's museum. Costing $1,350,000 and looking more like a stealth fighter, this is the ultimate weapon in destroying motoring preconceptions. To ensure the Reventon was at least as fast as the LP640, its engine has been tuned to develop even more power. All-wheel drive and low-profile 245 front and 335 rear Pirellis help keep this wannabe aircraft agile on the ground. Looking at the car, you can still see traces of the Murcia logo underneath all the aggressive, angular panels. The front is now dominated by two large air intakes that help cool the brakes. The angular nose is mimicked in the now obligatory transparent engine cover and the rear spoiler. Some information on the Reventon. Or event home. I can see what they mean by looking still looking like a commercial argle. Central to all units, officers require assistance on Mystic Lake Road. This is a training exercise, but you will be evaluated as if this was a live situation. Oh, for God's sake. Well, that's gold definitely gone out the window.
runs. Yeah, what's that? We'll do one more orange. Oh, well, God, Nissan three seventy Z. Future perfect. An expression of joy. The BMW Z4 S Drive 35 IS is a modern reinterpretation of the classic Roadster, following in the footsteps of the 1930s BMW 3151 and the 1950s BMW 507. Adaptive M suspension helps deliver power and precision straight to the tarmac throughout the rev range. A light touch of the accelerator is all the twin turbocharged six cylinders need to provide an experience to match the freedom of roof down driving. Driving a roadster is an expression of style, not of extravagance. An elongated bonnet encourages your eye to trace the striking low shoulder line to its powerful rear. The hardest decision the driver has to make is whether the shortest route is the most enjoyable one. I know you've heard that information before, guys, but I thought I'd just chuck it up there again. Hello. Hey there. later. Bit 
here too, bloody wine. That was like Second this time. Well, there we go with the hen. We work away with a new car, the Maserati Grand Cabriol. From 2009. Let's go and have a look at my garage. Even though that's American. <laughs> right, sports. What have we done the sports? So we've got Porsche Box to Spider, the Mazda RX-8, the Dodge Charger SRT-8, the La Mitsubishi Lancia Evo 10, and the BMW Z4 S Drive 351S IS. Sorry. Performance. We've got the Camaro SS, the Audi TT RS, and the Maserati Grand Cabriol. And for COP, traffic COP, we've got. The Crown Victoria, the 911, the Impreza WRX STI, STI, Mazda RX-8, Ford Police Interceptor, and the Mitsub no, Nissan 370Z. I don't know why I say Mitsubishi. Highway Patrol. We've got the Cayman RS. That's about all I've got unlocked at the moment. But yes guys, this is Need for Speed Remastered. I will be putting the link to the game in the description. So if you want to play it or buy it, whatever. It is available on Xbox Game Pass if you're on Xbox. So if you've got Xbox Game Pass, head over there and you'll find Need for Speed Remastered in the EA section. But PlayStation, it'd be in your PlayStation Store. PC, it'd be in your PC Store. But if you're on PC as well, I think it's available on the PC Xbox Store as well for Game Pass people. Right, anyway, guys, I'm going to head off for the rest of the day and chill out. I'll be back tomorrow, guys, with something. I don't know what it'll be yet, but something. But thank you very much, guys, and thank you all for watching. All links will be in the description to all places where you can watch my YouTube videos, my Twitch streams, and anything else. Or the Discord enough, and thank you very much for watching. Have a great rest of the day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Happy driving!